Hey boys and girls, Moon Girl here, and this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Cancer. Remember, it is a general, so it may not resonate with everyone. However, you can always get a personalized reading, and I will definitely link information below. I've also made a new Facebook page where I'll be posting things I can't post here and selling products on there as well. Um, same name, Moon Girl Tarot, and more. And I'll definitely link um, some info below. And I would really appreciate your following and liking it. Your support means everything. Um, I also want to apologize for not posting as much as I should. Um, I had a series of family emergencies. In fact, right now where we're at, um, where I live, there was a huge flood and um, my car is currently underwater. So like the saying goes, when it rains, it pours, literally in this case. So please um, forgive me and um, have patience with me. I'll try my hardest to post uh, more often, okay? And um, again, if you would like to tip or donate, um, you can always do so at my PayPal, paypal.me slash moongoddess11. Everything um, that comes in definitely goes 100% in my channel. More cards, more readings, um, more tools I can use. So please consider um, uh, any type of donation as well. And uh, here are your three flying cards. Well, actually, this were, I usually do three flying cards, but for some reason, a fourth popped out. So I took it, I went with it. And um, so this is going to be your four flying cards. Uh, first, we have the five of cups and it's, I'm sorry, the eight of cups and it's upright. Then we have the two of cups reverse. Then we have the eight of wands um, upright. And then we have the cu uh, five of cups upright. So there is a lot of water energy here. Um, so off the bat, um, with the eight of um, cups, I do feel that someone here is very disappointed in love. Um, they feel very disappointed um, and dissatisfied. Um, someone here is kind of tired of the situation. Um, they might have someone might have had a bad attitude towards this relationship, um, and they took action. Someone here is is gonna leave this situation. Um, they're gonna leave this relationship. They're gonna move forward elsewhere to find happiness because they're not finding happiness and love here. Okay. Um, there's definitely going to be some kind of dramatic change in your life. Um, and someone here is going to carry through with their plans. Remember, this is vice versa energy. So if it's not yours, it's the person you're dealing with. Um, they're definitely going to discontinue with an effort. You see how he's walking away? Um, and there might have been some sort of stuff hidden because the moon is there. But someone here is walking away trying to find happiness, uh, happiness elsewhere because um, it wasn't going as planned. Okay? Um... Yeah, they're hoping to find something better. And then we have the Two of Cups reverse. So with the Two of Cups, I, it totally resonates with the Eight of Cups, okay? Um, it was definitely unsatisfactory in love. Um, it was a troubled relationship. For those of you who are married, I do feel that some of you are going to get a divorce. Um, there was cross desires. There was opposition. There was a lot of misunderstandings here, okay? Um, there's definitely separation or there will be some separation. It's, you know, an end of a love affair. I do feel that there was some sort of jealousy. Again, lots of misunderstandings. I do feel like someone's kind of, someone's love here died. Um, there might have been some unfaithfulness here. Um, because again, the moon is here in the first card. So there might have been something hidden. Um, I do feel like you guys might have had some arguments. Um, and it totally jeopardized your relationship. It was like the last straw, you know, the, the nail that finally, um, the, the nail that finally, um, nailed the coffin. I'm sorry. Um, the person you're currently with is not your, uh, I don't feel like this person is your, um, twin flame or even a soulmate. Um, so... And then with the Eight of Wands, let's move on to the Eight of Wands. Um, with the Eight of Wands, however, I, I do feel that um, you are definitely in a major crossroad in your life. You have to take some sort of action to resolve these events that are happening because, um, like I said, this is coming to an end. So there's definitely going to be some major adjust adjustments for you guys. I'm sorry. Um, 
I do feel that there's someone here who kind of was moving quickly towards another opportunity or is going to move um, to another opportunity. So it might have been they're moving towards someone else. Um, and this might be the cost, like I said earlier, there might have been someone here. There might have been a third party here. Um, I just want to advise you to be very careful with any type of major planning as well. Okay. Um, try to set some good clarities and, 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 and goals for you uh, because the situation, you know, it, it is a sticky situation when you're moving forward. So especially if you are in a marriage, an actual marriage, I do feel like it's going to be sudden change here. It's just going to be kind of fast hitting. Um, However, I do feel that there's some messages going to come through, whether you're messaging someone or someone's messaging you, there is definitely going to be some sort of messages coming towards you, instant messages, okay? Then we have the Five of Cups, and it's upright. Um, so there's definitely a great, someone here is definitely grieving this relationship. They're grieving the loss of this marriage, the loss of this relationship of any kind. Um, someone here has so many regrets over it. Um... You definitely feel that there was setbacks. There was a total loss of a relationship here. Um, definitely lots of disappointments and love. Um, but you do have the strength and the spirit to endure this, okay? Um, this too shall pass, okay? Um, I do feel that there is going to be a better future for you now that this has um, come to pass. But you do need to choose... Um, how you handle, how you can better handle this. Because this is a temporary period for you, okay? Um, like I said, there was definitely regret here. I do feel that someone kind of fell out of love. Um, it was an incomplete, uh, incomplete union and, or partnership, okay? Um, I do feel that someone is, you know, still looking back though. They're still kind of thinking back on this relationship. They're still kind of lingering over it. They're still crying over these spilled cups, okay? And underneath the deck, we have the Queen of Swords. So with the Queen of Swords, someone here was very cutthroat. They were extremely cutthroat. They were, you know, um, very direct. So this might be how the person is seeing you or you are seeing them. Um, whoever did the breakup. Um, yeah, because this person is very sharp, quick-witted. This one is, um, this person is very... Um, like I said, very cutthroat. She very direct. She gets to the point. Like I'm not happy with this relationship. It's time to go. Or this could be you taking on the energy now that you're like, you know what? I can't believe you betrayed me this way. I can't believe it's over. Now I don't want to have anything to do with you. So take it as it resonates, okay? Um, but this person again, it doesn't necessarily have to be a woman just because it's a queen. It could be a male taking on the um, energy of the Queen of Swords. Uh, but this person is. Um, I also feel that someone here does feel lonely and, and, and saddened by the situation as well. Um, but they're not going to take shit anymore. They're like, I can't believe he did this. I'm done. Or, you know, this is how you see the person who did the breakup. Like, they were, it was this really fast moving action, like, kind of out of nowhere in a sense, which again kind of resonates with the Eight of Swords because it's like out of nowhere energy. Then we have the Two of Swords and it's in reverse. So, um, heavy Aquarian energy as well, um, and heavy water energy too, okay? So with the, I'm sorry, with the Queen of Swords, I'm sorry, the the Two of Swords reversed. Again, I do feel that there was some stuff that you may not be aware of, or they're not aware of, because like I said, it's vice versa energies. I do feel that someone was um, not representing themselves. You just kind of feel like they were disloyal. Um there was definitely some lies being told here. Um, they weren't being who they truly are. And now you see them for what they really are. You see the big picture. It's like all the puzzles are coming together now. Um, there was definitely stagnation in this relationship. Um, I do feel that, you know, you, someone here tried to look past some of the red flags because you wanted to be in this relationship but ultimately now you know um you were trusting the wrong person okay um i also feel like there might be some sort of gossip behind your back um but someone else will come soon 
and I know it's heartbreaking uh, to move forward and stuff, but uh, you need to keep an open heart for when this new person comes in. Do not bring all this sadness and drama to the next relationship because it's only going to hinder it, okay? Then we have the magician. So again, someone was just not representing themselves right. This was just not who they really were. Uh, then we have the page of cups. I'm sorry, the page of pentacles. Um, and it's reversed. So this is someone who was very self-involved. Um, someone who... Um, someone who now is just going to pass through your life, okay? They, they came in. They kind of made a mess. There was a lot of rash decisions. This person um, is someone who just kind of jumps into things. And yeah, there was heartache. There was definitely heartache because of this person. But don't worry. You are going to get your Ace of Cups. You are going to move forward with this. You're going to come through. And please do not be afraid to depend on your friends. Go, oops, sorry. Um, rely on your friends to make you um, happy and, and help you move forward. And there is going to be somebody else coming uh, into your life. So um, please stay open-minded with this and uh, keep your heart open. Um, I also have control. So I feel like someone here was very controlling in this relationship. And you're about to cut those strings. Fun times. Go out with your friends. Have fun times. Go out. Have fun. And I feel like you might meet someone out there too. So I hope this reading was a blessing to you. And if you would like to bless me, you can tip or donate at paypal.me slash moongoddess11. And I, as always, I really appreciate all your support by liking, subscribing, and commenting. It means the world to me. I do read every comment. I apologize about the camera. And um, stay magical. Thanks, guys.